This segment is sponsored by West Michigan Works. Did you know one in four jobs in West Michigan is related to the manufacturing industry? Local manufacturers want to get the word out about that. And joining me now are Ryan Graham, Director of Workforce Development at Kent ISD, and Cindy Langloy, Human Resource Manager at Shirtle Sales and Service. Welcome to both of you. Good morning. Glad to have Good you morning. here. Okay, so recently you had Discover Manufacturing Week, and this was important uh, as an opportunity to get the word out about uh, the importance of manufacturing. Tell, uh, what, what's the week all about? Yeah, so every second week in November, there's the opportunity for students and business and industry to engage and opportunities to go see those uh, businesses on site. There's nothing better than getting young men and women on site to really see how great manufacturing is. There's a lot of myths around manufacturing, so this is a way to partner up and also look at career awareness and opportunities that could be uh, in the future for these young men and women. So, so tell me a little bit more about the week. They, they got to go in and literally tour and see what was happening inside each company. Absolutely. Manufacturing week is typically the second week in November, but with our region being so small, so large and expansive, we um, offer opportunities October through November. And local schools partner with local companies, and those students get to go in, see a variety of roles, um, what the company produces, and really learn more about opportunities within manufacturing. I still love to do that, go inside, <laughs> put manufacturing plants. Okay, so that week is over, but uh, you have a number of things going on sort of around the state, but importantly, Michigan Career Quest is coming up in March. What is that? Yeah, so this is an opportunity for a number of business and industries to come together at DeVos Center and be able to almost have, I think, around 8,000 students come through mm. and again, see career opportunities, see awareness opportunities of what careers are right here in West Michigan. That's coming up March 27th at DeVos Place, as you said. Right. Okay, I know, and you mentioned it, a big goal of yours is to dispel some of the myths surrounding manufacturing. W what are they? What's your message here? So I think the first myth is that it's dirty, it's gross, it's grimy, when in reality, many of these factories are world class and you absolutely have to be able to go in and see them in action. There's robots, there's technology that is out of this world and you know better than I, Absolutely. Cindy, being part of Shirtle. I think that, that myth of everything is dark and dirty is really dispelled nowadays. A areas are bright and um, very clean. A lot of the facilities have to be clean to a certain standard. Um, and so people walk in and really can appreciate um, just how beautiful the facilities are. I think another myth is that there, that it's a dead end job, that when you go in entry level, you're stuck there the rest of your life pushing something down the line. Not so, right? Yeah. And that's my favorite one to dispel. <laughs> um, the thing I always encourage students to do is really look around when you walk into a facility. You know, start humble, start with the entry level job, but look around and figure out what it is that you would like to do. Um, a lot of Companies also pay for folks to go to college, um, be it one class or be it an associate's or a bachelor's or a master's degree. A lot of companies now will sponsor um, employees to, to um, expand their careers and go forward. Get in there, take the tour, ask Absolutely. the questions. Yeah. How else should they prepare? So I think another way to prepare is looking at opportunities that are in manufacturing as well, such as IT, sales, mm -hmm. you know, marketing, all the other aspects of ma manufacturing that are in our area. And, and also, this is just a one-time event throughout the year. Companies are open throughout the year to having opportunities for young men and women come through their facilities. What kind of positions are in demand? And that's, I was going to feed into that too, which is know yourself is another thing. Yeah. You know, if you know that you're really good at math and look at some of those accounting or engineering things. Um, but if you're good with like tearing apart your mom's toaster and figuring <laughs> out how to put it back together. Sorry, mom. Yeah, but it's, that's a great career. Get into maintenance techs. Um, maintenance techs are one of the highest paid jobs right now. Um, so other careers are welding, uh, manufacturing, um, uh, technicians that, again, they um, program the machines or they troubleshoot mm. um, if something goes down. Uh, getting into hydraulics and pneumatics and electronics, robotics. There's so many things that are out there that are not standing at a machine and pushing a button rotely every day. Yeah. It really requires engaging with your brain and um, thinking about things. And lots of emerging technologies, lots a chance to do what interests you or what you love or are good at yes. and apply it in the manufacturing area. Thank Absolutely. you both for well, coming here to talk a bit about <laughs> it. And you can learn more about careers in manufacturing at discover-manufacturing.com. We'll put a link to it at our site. 13onyourside.com. Again, thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you.